killing of Hamas leader brings Middle East closer to war. The killing of key Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh has brought the region closer to an all-out war than any time before, Nader Hashimi, a professor of Middle Eastern studies at Georgetown University, tells. This is a major development, he says. I think it also impacts events in Lebanon, because just a few hours earlier Israel tried to assassinate a senior Hezbollah leader in southern Beirut, and the working assumption was that Iran and Hezbollah were not interested in escalation. But Haniyeh's assassination has upended those calculations, he adds. Now Iran has every incentive to try and escalate this conflict. Palestinian president strongly condemns assassination state Mehdi. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has called the assassination of Haniyeh a cowardly act and a dangerous development. He also called on Palestinians to unite, be patient and steadfast in the face of the Israeli occupation in a statement carried by state news agency Wafa. Abbas's Palestinian authority governs the West Bank with limited self-rule and Israel has overall control. Since the deadly 7th October attacks, Israel has targeted the leaders of Hamas, but so far, apart from killing one senior figure based in Beirut, it's been unable to reach those at the top of its most wanted list. But this morning Hamas said its political leader had been killed in a treacherous Zionist raid. Last night, Ismail Haniyeh, who was from Gaza, but has lived outside for several years, was with the heads of other regional armed groups, backed by Iran, at a ceremony for the swearing-in of the country's new president. Few details have been given about the attack which killed him and a bodyguard, but it would have been carefully planned. Israeli's military says it doesn't comment on reports in foreign media, but one Hamas official has called this assassination a grave escalation, another described it as a cowardly act that would not go unpunished. It's unclear, as yet, what effect this will have on the course of the war in Gaza, but Haniyeh had been overseeing talks on a new ceasefire and hostage release deal. Despite his tough rhetoric, he was generally seen by analysts as moderate and pragmatic, compared to the more hardline Gaza-based leaders Mohammed Diyaf and Yahya Sinwar, who are believed to have masterminded last year's shocking assault on southern Israel. Haniyeh's death makes the world a better place, Israeli minister. Israel has not issued an official statement on Haniyeh's death, but there has been reaction from some politicians such as Heritage Minister Amiche Eliyahu, a member of Israel's far right. He wrote on X that Haniyeh's death makes the world a better place, saying this is the right way to clean the world from this filth before going on to say no more imaginary peace surrender agreements, no more mercy for these mortals. He also says the iron hand that will strike them will strengthen our ability to live in peace with those who desire peace.